when we were here last time one thing i noticed is that where we wanted to put the refrigerator which is right here and the window is right here so i thought it would be nice because the fridge is here and then the espresso machine is sitting on top of the fridge and then when customers come up they can watch the drink being made and i thought it would be really nice but it's not going to fit here because behind this piece of wood is the wheel well um so it won't fit the fridge is 48 inches wide and the depth is 30 inches so i'm gonna try and measure and see if it'll fit on this side but it's just gonna kind of be a bummer because i won't be able to if i if i when i work alone i won't be able to turn around and talk to the guests so i'm just trying to figure that out going to put um the siding we're going to continue it all here and like have it butt up against right here and then we're going to come back in when that's done and put a really nice wood trim all over the entire framing like all like that and around the door so you're not going to see this ugliness we're going to paint the door and put really cool hardware on it that looks like antique to go with to go with the sconces we're gonna put on the outside it's gonna be really sharp good morning everybody we are on the way to the trailer it's seven o'clock um we are going to go pick up bagels really quick um and then we're gonna go to home depot and pick up um, plywood for the walls and some stuff that we need to frame out the window um and Jacob's stepdad today is actually going to help us and do a bunch of different stuff. Um, he's also a carpenter, so it's going to be very helpful to have him helping us. Um, so just follow along, and there should be a lot of progress today, so I'm super excited. But we got all of this insulation done. Ceiling. I mean, did me and Jacob's mom do a good job or what? It's so good. Well, we have, of course, you know, we're, be we're beginners, but. And then we got the window in. Uh, excuse me, sir. Now I can officially hand out a drink. Hello everyone, so I am standing at our window. So um, over the past few weeks, we've been working on um, mainly the getting the window in, getting the door in. Today we're gonna put on all of the inner walls. So we originally were going to do FRP board and I think I've talked about that before in other videos, but because we realized that we would have to put um, plywood over the um, framing before we put on FRP board because the FRP board is a little bit too thin. Um, we were like, let's just do plywood and we'll, we'll put a really nice finish over it so that it's a smooth, cleanable surface like the health department um, requires. Yeah, let's take a look. I'll give you a tour and I have to apologize for um, not 
recording as much the last few weekends it's just been really cold and i have just been focusing on getting done and getting out of here so i haven't been recording as much but i'm going to give you a tour right now of what we have done what we're doing today and um hopefully it'll give you a little update and a better idea of where we stand okay so we obviously trimmed out the window um, I think we're going to stain that a different color, sand it down and stain it a different color, but it's what we had laying around, so we got kind of crafty with it and thrifty with it. Um, we installed the window, obviously, and um, I'm super excited because it's kind of looking like it's coming together. We still need to put the siding on, um, and then we're going to put trim all around the bottom and the top. There's a little shot of it. And then going inside the trailer, you see our insulation job, our window. Um, we got crafty with the insulation too. Um, we just had it in the basement. And then um, this is where the ice holder is going to be, our, our Arctic ice holder. Um, that's our gray water tank. I drew it out on the floor. This is the hardware we got for our door. Wait, can you see it? So it's like um, the same color as those sconces that we're putting on the side of the trailer. Um, so yeah, it's going to go on our door. And I'm still... I'm, I'm not even near the door. It's gonna go on our door. I'm still deciding on what to do for um, the door color. I'm putting a little latch on the door um, so we can hang the menu on it. The menu is gonna be really oversized, so it's super um, organized and easy to read. I don't want it to look cluttered. I want it to be like an easy choice for customers to look at it and decipher everything, the prices. I don't wanna have too many crazy sizes because I just want it to be a very simple, minimal, but delicious menu. And then I'm thinking that since we're gonna hang the menu on the door, I think I wanna have the door and the menu kind of blend together. Um, if you go to Jake and Erica's page, which I'll leave, um, I'll tag them in this, they do a lot of this like black chalkboard looking paint with little splatters that look like stars, which I really like. So I am going. think I'm going to do the door the same way. So to match the hardware that I just showed you, I think I'm going to have um, the door black with little speckles that look like little stars um, on the door that I'm just deciding if I want them to be white speckles like Jake and Erica normally do or if we're gonna do like a brass like gold um, color speckle to go with the door handle and the sconces. I'm still deciding so I don't know what we're gonna do about that but I was gonna paint the door last weekend and the week before but it's been way too cold I think you have to paint in like 50 degree weather or above so I'm gonna record today because I've been lacking and so you can see where we're at so let's go So these are um, one side good, which means that one side is sanded and doesn't have any um, blemishes, right? That's what it is? Yeah, okay. And Yeah. So So this like is cheaper, right? Then So cheaper than getting like cabinet grades so. Okay. Good to know. This is what it's going to look like on all of our walls. This really pretty like greening, which I'm actually so happy about because I actually did not want to put FRP board on the walls. I just, I really wanted to have a cozy feeling in here and I felt like FRP board was, um, it reminded me of like a commercial kitchen. I was just nervous not to put it on because I was nervous for the health department to not like that. Um, but they just said it has to be a smooth, cleanable surface. So I think that this is a smooth, cleanable surface. Worst comes worst, they say I can't have this, and then I put um, FRP board over it. Um, I went on Etsy, and this lady, she makes this awesome wallpaper, um, and she makes it for bathrooms and for living rooms, whatever you want. And I am going to buy this one. I don't want to show you it yet. I want to wait until it's up because it is the most pretty wallpaper I've ever seen. I want everyone to feel like they're at a house, like a coffee house and um it goes along with that theme and it's so pretty that brings me to why i'm telling you about this so when i was here last weekend and we were putting up the window i was standing outside as if i was a customer and when i was a customer outside 
you can't even really see the back wall. Like you can see it. It's just, it's not the, the focal point. What you're really looking at actually is the ceiling. So let me show you. So if I was a customer standing right here, I'm able to see, you know, the worker and a little bit of the back wall, but here up is the ceiling. So, so that means that I'm gonna put wallpaper on the ceiling instead of on the wall. So the wall is just gonna stay with this beautiful green. And then the ceiling is gonna be this really awesome wallpaper I found that I'm really excited to show you guys, but I'm not gonna show it yet because I want it to be like the full experience. And um, when you see the wallpaper, you'll understand why I'm putting it on the ceiling and why it's just gonna look so awesome. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really pumped about that. This is when I'm starting to get so excited because for the past few months, it's just been like a process of construction, 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 figuring out all of like the hard stuff. But we're getting to the point where we can be creative and I'm really excited for that part. So it's the end of the day and we are all done. Well, Jacob and his stepdad did such a good job. Here's the thing. We have to kind of figure out, I know I said this before that we're just gonna leave it exposed, but now that I'm seeing it, I don't know if it's like too much to the eye because ours is super like greeny and I don't know if that's, maybe it will look cool when I put a stain on it or something. There's so many different things we could do with it and so many different styles we could go with. I think I have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do research and decide. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video right here. I hope you got a better idea of what we've been doing and the progress that the trailer has made. I'm so excited and I've started looking up um, some events in the summertime. I'm not going to book anything for the spring yet, just in case. Um, you never know how things are going to be, but I'm going to start, I think, booking things for the summertime. Um, I was just in contact with someone who organizes street fairs, so I'm going to sign up for some street fairs. And I'm also um, looking for other places to set up this summer. I was thinking it would be really fun to go to the beach, set up at the beach. And um, yeah, if you have any ideas or contacts for people who... <laughs> if you have any ideas or contacts for people... Just stop burping in my video! <laughs> if you have any ideas or contacts for people who um, want to have events, or if you know of a good event to vend at, let me know. Um, I'm looking for anything really, mainly. Um, I really want to do festivals, street fairs, regular carnival fairs, um, farm stands, farmers markets, stuff like that. So, or I'm open to really doing anything. So. You can always message me and let me know if you have any ideas. So that is it for today, everyone. And thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>